G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to Guitar Zero to Hero. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Close Carbon Fiber Travel Guitar. Yes, you heard correct, I said carbon fiber. This guitar is made out of carbon fiber and not wood. So anyway, let's jump into the unboxing and after the unboxing, I'll be doing a detailed review and I'll be playing the guitar as well so you can hear what it sounds like. Alright, so let's start the unboxing. I've ordered the acoustic electric version of the carbon fiber guitar. I've also added the accessories pack to this as well. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so we got some bubble wrapping. Alrighty, so this is what we have. It's all included in this small package. So it's all weirdly shaped and that's because I'm assuming it hasn't been put together yet. So we have a rain cover here that's included in the accessories pack. So we'll just take that off. Alrighty, so we're left with a gig bag and what appears to be the neck and you can see that the strings are coming off of there. Let's take this packaging off. And there's the neck of our close guitar. Right there. So let's take this off. And let me do this carefully. This would be easier if I had a table. There's our strap and it looks like our screws are in there as well for the neck. That's what we have here. We also got a capo. So that comes in the accessories pack as well. And then, oh, there we go, the carbon fiber body. All right, so first things first, I think I just need to take the masking tape off. Okay, so to put the guitar together, they've given us a screwdriver, the four screws for the neck, and also an Allen key for the truss rod. So you just need to whack the neck into the slot here, lock it in, and then we just take our four screws and we screw them in with our hands first, and now I'm just going to use the screwdriver to make sure that's all snug and tight. Right now that the screws are in nice and tight. I think I can start tuning the strings to pitch. I'll just take this capo off that they've given us. I think that's just to keep the strings in place so they don't flop everywhere. And now we've tuned up to pitch and that is pretty much it. Wow, and I must say the playability out of the box and you've just screwed the bolts in is pretty damn good. I thought the action might be a bit funny, but I've just screwed them in and it plays really well. So I'm really impressed so far. Now that we've gotten the unboxing out of the way, I just want to do a quick review on the guitar and also show you how it sounds as well. Now the close carbon fiber guitar is marketed as a travel guitar. Now I've been a guitarist now for about 15 years and I know that personally myself, every time I've wanted to travel, go overseas, I've wanted to bring my guitar, but I've always been way too scared. There's only been one occasion where I did bring my acoustic guitar with me. I padded the absolute crap out of my acoustic guitar case and the whole flight I was just thinking, I'm definitely gonna open my guitar case when I get to my destination and the neck is just gonna be cracked and my guitar is gonna be ruined. So I can tell you it's really, really stressful traveling overseas with a full-size guitar. They generally don't let you take them on board because they're too big. And I've heard plenty of horror stories where guitars have just been damaged by baggage handlers. And that's where travel guitars actually come in handy. They're a whole lot smaller and the close carbon fiber guitar has a detachable neck. So you'll almost certainly be able to carry this on the plane with you without checking it in. So you might be wondering why carbon fiber? Why not make this guitar just out of wood like any other guitar? And there's a couple of reasons. The main one being durability. And that's exactly what you want out of a travel guitar. Carbon fiber is an extremely durable material 
and you'll see it used in a lot of aerospace applications in sporting applications it's used for bikes tennis rackets golf clubs you name it and it's not affected by humidity or moisture this thing is insanely durable and if you go on the website you'll see them using it as a baseball bat as a canoe paddle it's crazy so that's the main reason why they use carbon fiber but the other reason why they use carbon fiber for this body is for the volume that this guitar produces now i read this on the website but it basically says for the same size body made out of carbon fiber you would get a much louder sound than with a wooden body so that's the other reason why they've opted to go with carbon fiber here now i've been playing around with the close guitar now for about a week and i must say i'm really really impressed with this guitar over the last few days, I've actually been up in the mountains doing some hiking and a bit of relaxing and I decided to take my close guitar with me and it was just so awesome having something so portable to carry along and not have to worry about getting it wet or getting it damaged because of its durability. Now just because this is a travel guitar doesn't mean you get any less of a full guitar playing experience. This guitar features a full scale length, so from the nut to the saddle, it's 24 and 3 quarter inches, which is the same as most Gibsons out there. And the model I got actually has a Fishman pickup as well. So you can plug it into the PA and play this guitar live as well. Now, as well as having a detachable neck for portability, the neck also features an adjustable truss rod as well. Now, one thing to note is that the neck itself isn't actually made out of carbon fiber. It's made out of mahogany and the fingerboard is black wood. The body itself though is made entirely out of carbon fiber, even the back, which is one single piece of carbon fiber. Now, if you compare this thing to the size of full Dreadnought guitar, you'll see that this body is absolutely tiny. Because it's made out of carbon fiber, it's a whole lot lighter as well. But in terms of playability and scale length, you're getting the full experience still. So enough about the features, I'm going to let the guitar speak for itself. I'm going to play a couple of popular tunes, unplugged and plugged in as well, so you can hear how it sounds in both settings. <laughs> So now I'm just going to plug this guitar into a standard PA system to show you how it sounds plugged in.
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and review for the closed carbon fiber guitar. In conclusion, I think this is a really great travel guitar. I'm really happy with it. I've played a lot of travel guitars in my time and a lot of them sound like junk. But this one is the perfect balance. It still sounds great. It's super durable. It can be super compact as well. And it's a hell of a lot of fun to play. Now, is this going to sound like and replace a full-size wooden guitar? Short answer, no. But that's not why this thing was designed and built. This thing was designed to be the best travel guitar possible. And with all the features it has, it definitely is a strong contender. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram at guitar 0 to hero where I'll be posting a whole bunch of other content as well. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.